G'day folks. Just thought I might make a little um, interesting botanical clip, botanical observation. Um, ages ago, years ago, I mistakenly put up a um, clip on YouTube of a, a tree that I thought was a monkey puzzle tree. Now, I wasn't actually far wrong. It's a member of the Aracoria family, or Aracaria family. Um, that are indigenous to the southern hemisphere. Um, the monkey puzzle tree comes from South America. And it was one of these guys. Now this is actually growing in the yard. A couple of, a couple of houses along from mine. Um, it's a holiday house. The, the owners are only down here at Christmas and times like that. And I've seen this, you know, from a distance. Never really looked at it, but it's, it's one of the same. So... I had a little look, did a little bit of research, and it's uh, Araucaria bidwillii. This is the bunya bunya or bunya pine, an Australian pine tree, and it is closely related to the monkey puzzle tree. It's got some really wicked these um these leaves, although they're green. That's really quite spiky. And, the, and it's actually a Jurassic tree, if you will. There's um, Jurassic fossil records of this very tree. Very spiky. And when the when the branches, when the leaves, if you will, fall off, oh jeez, they're cruel. Really, really. When they dry out, they're very spiky, like a cactus, yeah? Wicked things. The trees themselves can grow to 170 feet. You see the way the, the branches come out, all long and sort of... <coughs> there's no offshoots of them. And then at the end, they kind of bunch out into... And this is a better example. See, they just come straight out from the trunk. They run along for so long, and then they, then they branch out into leaves. Wicked things. Like I said, Aracoria. It's a, it is closely related to the monkey puzzle tree. But when I uh, way back when I was filming that one in um, the Royal National Park in. Uh, Southeast of Sydney, or south of Sydney, I should say. There's one thing that, that this tree has that that one didn't. And I'm really glad now that I know it's a bunya. Um, and this is amazing. Here's one of the seed pods or um, pine cones, I guess, pine cones. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, they're really spiky too, but I've never seen anything so big. When they fall, um, like coconuts fall, the seeds come off themselves naturally. And there's one of the seeds. Look at the size of that. Isn't that amazing? Now, just to give you some size comparison, there's one of the seeds, and I'll put down, yeah, I've got a dollar coin. That's uh, about the same size as a, a bit bigger than a, uh, what, a quarter, I guess, or a loony, if you're in Canada. Isn't that huge? So, whoops, I'm gonna throw my money around. So that's one, just one of the seeds. And um, I think probably the black cockatoos have been at this because there's not many other birds that would have the the beaks strong enough to to get the seeds out of one of these things. I 
was thinking <laughs> I was thinking about propagation but uh, I don't really want a 170 foot tree and um, it takes 40 years before they start producing seeds so I doubt very much I'll be around <laughs> even if <laughs> even if I could grow one they tried in the botanical gardens in Melbourne and it took six months for uh, the seeds to germinate and out of that it was only 50% success rate anyway what an amazing prehistoric tree isn't it beautiful and on the ground here look at this yeah I reckon cockies cockies have been at it and looking at some of the pictures on the internet these aren't even as big as they get these seed pods are the pine cones can get up to 40 pounds uh, 17 or 18 kilos isn't that incredible look at this A bit of weight in them too. Isn't that amazing? What a survivor, hey? And you can see the spikes on the end of so I'm holding it sort of gingerly like this because I can't put it in the palm of my hand. The spikes on the end of each seed make it uh, difficult to hold. But it really protects itself, doesn't it? I mean, first, it's covered in spikes. The, the, you know, like the branches of the leaves themselves are like thorns. Then it covers the ground. I've seen, this isn't a great example, the one in the National Park is the radius around the base of the tree, which is a bigger one than this, much bigger one than this. Probably about 100 years old or so give or take. Well the base around that tree is just a carpet of these spines. So a lot of animals just won't walk on it. And uh, if you don't have uh, boots on, forget it. And then to make it even more difficult for predation, they got this. Nothing's going to get into that. This one is bigger than a coconut. Almost sort of volleyball size, I guess you would say. But like I said, there's uh, pictures on the internet of much bigger, much bigger uh, pine cones than that one from this tree. I find it remarkable. I really do. What an amazing thing. And, and Jurassic. That's a survivor for you. I wonder if our species will be around in a couple of million years. <laughs> a hundred million years. I think we all know the answer to that one. So it's the Bunya pine or the Bunya Bunya. Araucaria bidwillii. And those pine cones. It is a pine, so yeah. Pretty impressive, huh? Forty pound pine cone. On the one over there. Interesting. Hope you liked that. See ya.